Hey everyone, Aquaman here with Water Wisdom, sponsored by WaterFilters.net. Today, WaterFilters.net is proud to introduce a new line of water treatment and equipment maintenance chemicals from Pro Products. And here you see the entire lineup of these uh, products. And I'm going to go through each one just real briefly, and then I would encourage you to check out each one specifically at the item specific page at WaterFilters.net. So here's the quick rundown. Here we have a Pro Res Care. This is a liquid resin cleaner that uses a chemical drip feed. You attach it to the side of the brine tank and fill it with the liquid, and the uh, chemical drip feed will dispense the res care into the salt solution at approximately one ounce per day. This is the lowest maintenance form of uh, resin care available, and it's just an excellent way to make sure that your resin is getting fully cleaned and uh, is not fouling and losing efficiency over time. Um, a lower or lesser version of that is available in the softener mate and in the rust out. Now these are both powder products that you manually layer in the salt in the brine tank. Uh, four ounces uh, in each layer of salt. Uh, the softener mate is most appropriate for municipally treated chlorinated water, uh, water softeners of course, and the rust out is designed of course for well water that is more typically going to have an iron bearing water and uh, Iron, of course, is a lot harder on a water softener, so it takes a little more potent uh, formula in the rust out here. And then down here we have the potassium permanganate. Those of you that have manganese green sand filtration systems for iron removal will recognize that right away. Uh, potassium permanganate is a strong oxidizing agent that's used to regenerate manganese green sand in iron removing systems. And then this is Nutra 5. Nutra 5 is a, is a powder that's dissolved into a liquid form and typically uh, added to water through a chemical feed pump. And obviously it's used to neutralize acidic water. And so if you've got a water that's below 6.5 pH, you'll want to raise that pH using this neutralizing agent. It's also appropriate to assist tannin selective resin uh, in the regeneration process. Uh, there are filter systems called um, tannin removers. Uh, tannins are organic compounds that require a special resin. It's, it's not unlike a water softener, but a different kind of resin. And this can be used periodically to help regenerate that tannin-specific resin. And then over here we have Nutrasol. Nutrasol is a 7% hydrogen peroxide solution it is also a strong oxidizing agent and is commonly fed into the water through a chemical feed pump and one of the most common uses for it is in situations where there's a hydrogen sulfide problem. Uh, hydrogen sulfide smells like rotten eggs. Some people call it sulfur smell and uh, well, it does indeed smell like that. It's nasty stuff and it requires a strong oxidizing agent to uh, get rid of that nasty odor. It can also oxidize some other things depending on the specific water chemistry and you'll know if your equipment will require a hydrogen peroxide solution. So that's what the Nutrisol is. And then next, let's take a look at the PolyGuard. Uh, it looks like a filter. It's really not a filter because it's not removing anything from the water. It's actually adding a polyphosphate sequestering agent into the water. And this is used either to uh, reduce the amount of scale and corrosion that's happening because of hard water or mildly acidic water. It's only going to work in water that's up to 12 grains per gallon hard and the closer you get to 12 grains the less effective it will be. And on mildly acidic water if you're below 6.0 pH you're really not going to have a good effect with this. And what it does is it adds polyphosphate to the water which coats all the metal surfaces and uh, makes it so that acid water cannot eat away at those surfaces and also sequesters uh, low amounts of iron, less than one part per million, and uh, low levels of hardness so that they do not form either scale or rust stains as the case may be. So this is a great way to uh, inexpensively deal with scale and rust 
and this fits inside of standard filter housings like the HF360 or HF150, for example. And then lastly, we have these uh, Santa System liquid sanitizers. And uh, this one is for reverse osmosis systems, and this one is for water softeners. Anytime you change a reverse osmosis system filters or membrane, you need to sanitize your system. Take a look at your manual, and if you don't have your manual, just trust me, it says so in there that you need to do that, and for lots of good reasons. Uh, it's just the right thing to do. It's the, it's the correct way to properly maintain your system. And then, of course, less frequently, because water softeners are lower maintenance, you have uh, the Santa System liquid sanitizer for water softeners. You're only going to need to use this occasionally. Um, the rare instance when the valve head mechanism is removed off the top of the tank and the resin inside is exposed to air. And also, if you become aware that you have microorganism contamination, perhaps in a well water situation, you can't use or you really should not use chlorine to uh, sanitize your uh, softener because the resin just really hates chlorine. It's very bad for it, very bad for its efficiency and longevity. So you're going to sanitize the rest of your house, probably the rest of your plumbing with chlorine, but you need a different method for your softener, and this is the right stuff to use. So check out all of these pro products on the item-specific pages at waterfilters.net. We're really happy to have them now for you, and please call our customer service to ask questions if you are not sure how these might apply for you. I'm your host, Aquaman, and thanks for watching.